I tried to see him, but I couldn't find him. His family wouldn't talk to me. I reached out to his sister, who tried, but they got to her too, and he stopped returning my calls. So, I stopped calling. A year goes by. In the mail, a wedding invitation. So Lawrence Bishop invites you to attend the wedding of his son. And I think, is this a joke? Is, is someone, someone trying to, to screw with me? Or may, maybe it was him, you know? Maybe it was a cry for help. But whatever it was, I didn't answer. Six months later, I come home from a night out, and there he is, in my house, looking like the wrath of God had hit him. He was strung out or drunk. Couldn't tell. Wanted to know if I still loved him. Wanted to know why I didn't stop him. Couldn't help him. But whatever I said, it didn't matter because he realized then that he couldn't have them and me. He'd trapped himself in. There's no way out. And before I knew what he was doing, he grabbed a knife from the kitchen counter and ran himself through with it. Ah, uh, well, not once, not twice. Three times. I tried to save him. I did. But there's so much blood. Just be true to yourself, Sebastian. Whatever that is. Yeah, there may be sin inside of you, and that's what you truly believe. It'll be there forever. If there is, then tell her, okay? Tell her like you told me. Because then... You won't be in prison alone. Did you hear what John said? There are laws. We can't just ignore them. We can't bend the laws to our will. Since when is it a small or a problem? It's just such an ordeal for so little reward. Did you hear what Don said? No. Come on. Hey. Yes, hello, Alex. You, uh, you didn't deliver on your side of the bargain. This cannot have been all you got. Um, I put the name in and that's all that came up. Okay, well, did you spell it correctly? Are you kidding? No, I'm not, because this is crap. Alex, it's complete crap. There was nothing here. 